What this NBC announcer said about Trump on live TV will make you never watch another NFL game. By Al Weissman for mpolitical.com. Now the NFL and its cronies are blaming President Donald Trump for their own stupidity and ignorance. NBC broadcaster Al Michaels was asked about his thoughts on the NFL rating decline in an interview with Philly.com this week. Michael, Michaels listed multiple factors, but of course wasted no time. Circle back to President Trump's September comments at a rally in Alabama where he called for the protesting players to be fired. He alluded to the false notion that President Trump's comments reignited the spotlight on player protests, but the fact was that Trump didn't reignite the controversy. The controversy was never extinguished. He only called out what players were already doing, especially the failed ex 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who, because he saw his career was ending, he decided to take a knee against our flag and all he, uh, she stands for. The New York Times reports maybe Colin Kaepernick is just not that good. Whether or not Colin Kaepernick plays another, NFL, uh, another down in the NFL, I'm going to say that he can achieve more off a football field than he or anyone else in the sport can achieve on one. Football is the largest uh, scheme of things, is not that important. Kaepernick, meanwhile, has a message about crucial aspects of our frayed but hopefully repairable nation that will continue to grow. If he has the devotion to work for change, he could outclass Tom Brady or any player you might name as someone who did something that truly matters for future generations. But I thought it might be useful to at least consider something. The contra uh, conventional wisdom is that Kaepernick co-opted out of his contract with the San Francisco 49ers after last season and has yet to be signed by another team does not have an NFL job on account of his politics. In protest against racism and police brutality, he won't stand for the national anthem, and he's increasingly outspoken on social issues. Earlier this summer, in a tweet, he likened the police to members of the Fugitive Slave Patrol, NFL owners. The thinking goes, must be racist who don't like his politics, or cynical pragmatists who don't like that their racist fans don't like his politics. What seems to be more problematic than Kaepernick's not having a job is uh, the general unwillingness to consider that this situation might be justified on the merits given Kaepernick's uh, current attributes or lack thereof as a quarterback rather than assuming as part of a uh, knee-jerk uh, gospel of victimhood that persecution must be the cause it's not hard to make a statistical case for why Kaepernick is not playing now. He threw for a mere uh, 187 yards a game last season, which was good enough for 30th in a league of 32 teams. For his career, he has completed fewer than 60% of his passes last season. 24 passers completed more than 60%. Kaepernick's at 59.2% was ranked 26. If you're below 60%, you're a fringe guy. More damning, Kaepernick was not asked to make difficult throws. He's not a Matt Ryan type quarterback. Oh well, I'm not interested really in his game. So moving right along, it doesn't matter that Kaepernick doesn't have a job. It matters that so few people even wonder if there might be a non-disgraceful explanation. We have become the anti-meritocracy. We resent those who outperform us, outwork us, outproduce us. And the person who has been perceived to have been slighted, he is whom we now adore. The only reason Colin Kaepernick ever started kneeling was because he was, for all intents and purposes, on his way out of the NFL. He knew this, so 
his Muslim girlfriend, who has deep ties to Islamic extremism, convinced him to pull a stunt like he did. He never had an issue with any so-called cop brutality or hating our flag. He was actually still an active player for the Niners. But today, since it seems like no team wants the drama Kaepernick started after he was benched when he was playing poorly for the uh, San Francisco 49ers, he has changed his tune. It has gotten to the point that he is actually begging teams to hire him. He is even saying that he will never kneel for the national anthem again if someone hires him. Gee, thanks. What a guy. Way to stand up for your so-called convictions, dude. Please share if you agree that the players who kneel should be fired on the spot. I, get, I think all of America says that. And uh, again, Muslim girlfriend, uh, they don't uh, stand up for the national anthem because the only thing they... They have allegiance to is Mohammed. That's it. That's what they they believe in. This is why you s say to yourself: Are when you're coming to this country, are you willing to accept our values? But they do not accept our values. So there you have it in a nutshell. And uh, this idiot over here, this reporter, doesn't even know what he's talking about. Let me know. Uh, uh, what you guys think in the comments below and again thank you so much for watching